look at that list. Who's, right. who's the player, if he gets on a roll, can drag Blackburn back into it? It's obviously Ryan Bathy, but he needs service. Like, I, I, like yeah, that's that's the thing. And I've, Mackenzie Dorian's another one. Like, he's playing more VFL football this year, which is great for Mackenzie. But, but he's an he's the X factor that they're missing at the moment as well, isn't it, Blackburn? I look at this side at the moment, and I don't see the X factor. Ryan, no, ba- Ryan Bathy excluded, but he's an X factor who relies on service as we go down to Jared Beanland boundary side. Nathan Oakes tore his uh, jumper uh, during that last quarter, so he'll be coming out wearing the 81 uh, rather than the number 13. 81, that would be up there with some of the higher jumpers that, that, <laughs> we've, that we've seen in, in Eastern Football Network League history, Gavin. Actually, yep. I reckon I saw a, a listing in the record or in the on the game day website. Yeah, Someone Knox. had 101. Knox. I don't know who the fella is out at Knox. I didn't think you're allowed to 100. Well, neither did I. I we're going to see. We're going to see some of the basketball stuff. Triple zero. We also 88 could see, would be the widest jumper. Yeah. Uh, yes. Also the IPL. So in the IPL, the, the blogs put their highest score on the back. You know, so 400. I'd love to see like someone run around with their best ever effort in front of goal. Take it away, Gav. <laughs> So, round one clash, Good Friday, Blackburn versus Baldwin. Start the third quarter, and it's a 34-point lead for Baldwin. And it kicks to the right, Blackburn going forward for the first attack. Now Hanley gets up and under, and it's the defence of Baldwin holding nicely. And it's, it's just uh, Blackburn, they don't have precision passing going forward, and that one was chopped off again. Long ball out, a good mark. Well done by Pollux again. He's been impressive for a youngster. I think this is only his, what, sixth game in the senior side. Live frame, but good overhead, and his kick finds the target again. And this time it's Jack Sexton, who's pointed to the goals and said, I'll have a shot with the wind. Bit of left to right. He's, he's a, like his brother, I think he's a good kick. Looks so, like the wind's died down a little bit too, Gab, which means it probably won't swirl, which no. has probably been why players have been missing set shots so far. He's still that. aiming for the left post. He's on that, and has sort of bent it with his natural arc, Boundary. and it's never, with the distance, has just hooked left for a minor score. Ball won't extend their lead to 35 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Let's go to Jerry. Jared on boundary side. Yeah, you're not wrong, Matty. The wind has definitely lessened down here. Uh, it's a lot less noticeable than it was during the second quarter. Well, that, that's that's good news for Blackburn, I guess, Brasher. They can get into the contest, yeah. and then they'll be hoping it, it, it uh, picks up again in the, in the second uh, half of this half. So they go to the boundary side with a long kick out to Blackburn. Ground level disputed ball. A couple of Blackburn tacklers get in there amongst it, but again, it's Urban who's... Uh, He's been, impressive. he's been he's been impressive. He hasn't. He's probably not a high possession player, but he, but he's got a good leg on him in in terms of speed and, and in kicking. So it's another good for one of those key players. It's a tough nut under the contest just to be the first hands that injector to get the ball out. So uh, he seems like a pivotal pl- part for that midfield uh, rotation. Does Absolutely. Urban a- an unsung hero in a side that's got some pretty flashy players? Ruck contest one down, there's Urban again, he pops a hand pass into the corridor hoping a teammate can run under it, comes the tackler, was a bit high and the non-officiating umpire from the middle calls it over the shoulder and Blackburn will pick themselves a free kick on half back. Good umpiring, had a better view than the officiating umpire and it was definitely there. Nice short pass in the Lawler gets on. He goes wide, too wide. And Zalek just looks really distraught as he just sees it wow. hit the ground and the fence. That's, that's an, symptomatic of their day, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, isn't it? Like, you know, that's the skipper as well who's played a lot of VFL footy with a good kick, usually a good kick, and that's just a horrible turnover. Long kick by Sexton. No mark taken for Bowen, but they did get their hands on it. Now it's a disputed ball again. Quick kick out. Again, on the end of it, Sherbra. Shruba gets the kick inside corridor as he intercepts well. Now goes through Freeman who goes out wide. Finds his teammate Bottomer whose kick smothered as he tries to spear a ball inside 50 and Blackburn with the numbers back win the ball across and it's got Murphy on the outlay. Now long ball running into it and taking the mark is Hanley from the left flank. He's got men running to the goal square. He'll go long with a ball that's lining up for his teammate in Brooks. He can't get to the contest and it was a fist out by the ball in defence who scurried back quickly Schreiber. and nicely. And Schreiber concedes a point with the fist. And he, he's played a real key role as well, Brash, on the wing. He's playing like a sort of a, a wing man. He runs hard both ways and a lot of his work's been helping out the defence and there's another case there although I think Casey had his hands uh, his name written all over it sorry Gav as well yeah. and there's the kick in board for Blackburn again doesn't hit the target or the target drops it so it allows Jaffa Williams to harass his way tackle comes in from Pollux but at Blackburn somehow get it going but they're running themselves into tackle and dropping the ball by Dove and it's a turnover they're just
just, if not, creating their own trouble here, Blackburn, and the whistle's gone because there's no advantage. You can see board. what they're trying to do. They're trying to use a corridor, but once again, it's either pressure or just their skills aren't up to it. Like you said, there was a drop mark, you know, a handball to a player under pressure, and, and there oh, you go. What class. Bowen Smith, just his kick into space in the pocket, and Haley just runs onto it and takes a nonchalant uh, chest mark. This is the final nail. He kicks this because Blackburn, you can see they're trying to take the game on. They've had a couple of chances inside 450. Again, nothing came of it. He kicks this now for, for Blackburn. It's it's now, let's just learn from this. It's interesting. He's going for the straight drop punt. He's on a 45 degree angle, 40 metres out. He's kicked 3-3 three, three today. He's better when he's got a deliberate shot and that is picture perfect. Another goal to Haley. He's fourth and Baldwin kick out to 7-10-52. A 40 point lead over Blackburn. 1-6-12, five it's gone third term on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Charlie Haley could be one of these players, Gav. I reckon he could be at least a 60, 70 goal uh, player yep. this year. Well, yeah, he had 60 uh, the year before when we were playing and he had 30 mm. from seven. So, so that's an got, average of four. Yeah. He's got 104, like you said, 104 goals from 34 games for Ballin. And then you add in today. So 35 games is now up to 100, 108. It could be closer to 115 the way he's going. Yeah. And, and the thing about this thing too as well, like you can't really pick a clear best on ground for Baldwin either. That just shows how even their performance has been. Urban does well again in congestion. He tried to use his teammate in cross. Blackburn now did go get on the ball. The kick around the corner again chopped off. And this time it's Will Sexton at halfback just sitting nicely for a chest mark. He's got a short on and he finds... I think that's Oaks. Oaks, who's changed jumper to 81, just to slightly confuse us. Now the long ball in, and no. not Lyle from back position. He just waved his player away and got front position I'm, and took a mark. I'm getting worried now, Brash. Getting real worried. Well, the thing is, it's the first time that Jordan Lyle's actually had any clear space, and he still was a, and he found space and easily manoeuvred his uh, opponent out of position and took a lovely grab. Well, it's, one thing is, is that he knew where the ball was, the opponent didn't. No. You're right. So Lyle from 45 metres out, not much of an angle. He's such a good goal kicker. He averages about two a game in his history here in the Eastern Footy League. That's a floater, but it's a floater that goes straight. It was one that went square off the boot, but it went squarely through the middle. He, he almost looked like he meant it, though, the way he approached it. It's like he was trying to kick a sack. <laughs> so that's how they kick it in Gaelic football, but that went through the middle. It's now Baldwin kicking out to eight goals, 10, 58, 46-point lead to Blackburn, 1-6-12, six, six minutes gone, third turn. Yeah, it's, it's worrying now. That, it like, was ugly. That was an ugly kick, but it had the desired result. <laughs> well, and that's that's probably the, the way too. That even where, even Bowen's mistakes are going straight to the middle and hitting <laughs> targets. Whereas Blackburn, each time they've, they've showed more endeavour to use the corridor in this second half so far. But th their kicks have been a little bit like that Jordan Lyle one without going through the big sticks. Walk past President Richard Wilson just before, and I heard him tell a mate that they're going to win by 20 goals. So I thought I'd just broadcast that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if they well. win by 19, we just hang it on him? <laughs> to, to be fair. Hey, Richard, you've just been thrown under the boat, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, he owns the boat. Yeah, he does. <laughs> owns a cup. That's it. As, uh, it comes out, a little kick, which is a fresh air shot. The time by Zagari. I to throw the ball up now. Nicely done there by Harry, palm down, but once again the Tigers, they're just everywhere. They're reading the play so well. At the front spot, Jaffa Williams was there. He'll go after it, got a little left-hand knock on it, which worked out okay as the kick forward by Smith all the way. You little beauty, that's a fantastic goal by the man in the long sleeves this afternoon. And Smith gets his first, and now well, all of a sudden, that 20 is looking a little bit more realistic, isn't it? Uh, as they push on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard to at the eight-minute mark to 9-10-64 to 1-6-12. Good to see old mate Ray Baird out here today in a little cameo on pre-match. Uh, you would think he's back from the dead, the way we talk about him. The Ray Bear Memorial <laughs> Studio. Yeah, Brash, you're making a signal. Three three Blackburn players crashed that pack in, in the half forward and left two two Baldwin players free. No wonder they scored. No talk. Back in the middle of Morton Park. It's again Baldwin getting it forward. Jaffa Williams didn't take possession smartly, then gets onto it. That's a throw, Had but it be. goes the other way to Blackburn. But again, dropping back to take a mark is Sherber. And uh, he is just finding good space. You're loving that name today, aren't you? Schreiber. Well, yeah, I just don't know which way to go half Schreiber. the time. Schreiber. Yeah, yeah Schreiber. He's had a fair bit of it, to be fair. I've only confused myself recently. Now it's in the hands of Blackburn. They're going along the wing. They're going the long way home. Will they find their way home through Hanley? He goes long. But it's 
it's all ball when dropping back. The numbers again, they're knocked out of the hands it was of the, the marker. Right spot to kick to. There's just no one home though. Well, you. then that doesn't. That probably, in my mind, makes it the wrong spot to no, kick well, to. No, no, because that's where the forward. That's where they should be making space to. Well, nonetheless, five intercept marks this quarter already for Ball, and it's only been eight minutes. Freeman to Rid. Rid's uh, pass bites off more than it can chew. So it's a turnover ball, a long kick by Downey goes in the forward line. But guess what? It's only Pendlebury back there, and he takes a mark on the last line. Six intercept marks. So Pendlebury, he's on a long raking right boot, goes to the wing or just short Shocking of it. Kick. And now the it's, it's a turnover ball because there was the numbers for Blackman. And finally they got some inside 50 numbers and it's been marked by Lawler, who uh, was one of three options there. He's got to kick this goal, Paddy Lawler. They really badly need a goal here, Blackburn, and that's probably their understatement of the year, but they really do need a goal. It's not, it's not even about winning the game now. It's about saving some face. Like got you, you can't go down by 20 goals, as uh, no. El Presidente Wilson has put down. They want, to, they want to win a quarter. Well, you know, Brendan Allen said before the game, Brush, they're not rebuilding. 20-goal loss start to round one isn't a good way to start that. Can Lawler just get some respectability on the scoreboard? Drops short, doesn't get the distance from about 50. It did, and uh, disappointingly for Brooks, it wasn't in play for him to have a snapshot at goal. So it's a minor score. Baldwin one seven thirteen trailing by, sorry, Blackburn one seven thirteen trailing Baldwin nine ten sixty four. So it's a fifty one point oh, margin in the third. Chris. Uh, it's a thumping kick by Pendlebury. He went all the way into the centre square there. And uh, we will have a ball up. That being said, Brash, I think there's still some positives for Blackburn. Their midfield, like their, their intensity has been there and you can see what they're trying to do. They just lacked a little bit of finish and polish, you know, like their balls into the corridor have been a bit scrappy. And like you said, the forwards at the moment, they just, again, the synergy's not there, but that's they're missing a, a key player that's been yep. their focal point for 10 years. Harry's knocked down, went straight into the arms of Bottomer, who thumped it on his boot up towards the half-forward line out of bounds. Yeah, and you can tell that black uh, ball would have taken 12 intercept marks, and that's probably the sign of either poor ball use or, or poor forward synergy. Umpire throws it in now. And we'll have a stoppage. Okay, nine goals to one, 64 plays 13. Good Friday football, Premier Division. It's not what we were expecting today, that's for sure. But Baldwin, as they did last year, they have uh, really come out to play, that's for sure, which is great to see. Led well by Rodney Eade in his third season now at the Tigers. Well, BWS, they were on a six-game winning streak before the COVID. They were the informed side, weren't uh, they? They were, they were. They were in devastating form. And they were the only team to beat Vermont. They were. Perfectly brought up there, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a little hairball over the top. Uh, nicely done there by Reed, who just ran, 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 and finally got the handball away, and it comes out to Bajaya on the left boot and wanted a favourable bounce. He got that. Losing the football there was Wilson, so the, yeah. the burners have the numbers. Little handball, maybe high tackle. What's happening? Yeah, high. it was soft. This soft, but we'll give it to him. Not, not really there, but... Well, and then we won't doubt Damien Sully ever as uh, short passes on. Bathy, what, what do you reckon? Name. I reckon Bathy's had, what, maybe two or three kicks today, Brush? This will be, this will be yep. his first clear one. He was getting around it in the third. No, just nothing went his way, I, I think, as it goes in towards the forward pocket. Can they scramble something out of nothing? They need it, and they can't get it, and they don't even get a point. That's That's, that's just... I just don't know what to say. I'm a bit speechless. They Disappointing. Can't buy, they can't even buy, buy a point at Dis the moment. Disappointing. <laughs> they can't even buy a point. <laughs> even boy. <laughs> uh, we make yeah, ourselves but, laugh. Uh, <laughs> Matt, Matty Casey's got the ball in the back pocket. Good player. Kick goes on with now. I mean, next time we'll set up on the other side. That's where all the play is, oh. I tell you what. It'll, then they'll come out this side, Ben. You know how it works. <laughs> it's so true. As the kick goes forward, a big fly that time there by Brooks. Couldn't pull it down. Kick goes towards the top of the goal square and Clever. knocked through for one behind. That was better, though, for Blackburn in terms of Brooks went to the right spot. The kick went to the right spot. They had crummers. So, again, that's another positive. They've, like I said, they've, so, they've showed signs, but they haven't done it all day. And, and like you said, they can't buy a point. And even when they do, it's because Casey decided to give it to them. And he goes long into the middle. There's Leading option again is Lyle, but he drops the ball in the middle, so it's danger players. Blackburn go inside 50. It goes through the hands of Lawler. It's a bit like a, a bullet, though, so we give him the miss there. Well and done. it's now a contested ball. 
Brilliant, Lee. Uh, Bajaya is putting yeah, some but pressure on. Bajaya has been impressive as well. He's been a hard nut. He's put his head over it. And that kick there was pinpoint accurate, Brash. He just didn't have someone on the end of it. But he, he's been impressive for Blackburn. One down. It's Blackburn having a flying shot in the contest. And it's drifted through for a goal. Great. And it's in the hands of Gray, who kicked it. Well done by him. He just sharked the tap. And from 30 metres out, just put it on the boot. And it went through for Blackburn's second. We'd say it's well needed, but they're so well far behind. But it is reward for effort, Gav. Yeah. Exactly. And 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 Brash, they've like I said, since quarter time they've been more impressive. It's just the polish. It's obviously got the crowd up and back, but it but yep. it is just it, it's just the polish they've lacked, Brash, at the moment. Their endeavour and and their intensity around the footy has been as match ball. Yeah, that, that, that's it. That's all it is at the moment. And hopefully for Blackburn's sake and, and our sake, Gav. Yeah. The, their, their polish can come up a level and we can make something out of this. I like Brooks across half forward line. He's getting involved. Yeah, he's, ma he's made a contest and you can see again, he's he's no Jake Hammond, but he is making a contest. There's, there could be an eight goal run here. Here's Conker as he bursts through the middle of the ground, kicks it towards the top of the goal square, who's going to be down and scramble it through for a point. It's like I get all the points, you get all the goals. <laughs> uh, <laughs> through it goes for a wider score. And, and I'm okay with that. 9-10-64. Uh, no, <laughs> to 2921 boundary let's cross down to Ryan uh to Jared Beanland <laughs> well as we were saying during the halftime show Baldwin were very keen to like switch gears and play tempo expect them to do that now just to kill any chance of Blackburn to uh, get back into the game rough sedge goes into Conker who's getting more of it now as he kicks the ball inside forward 50 big fist over the back created the spoil charging after it there that time was Reed couldn't quite get the ball off well done on ground level the Tigers will have the numbers here backwards to go forwards a kick there that time by Sexton who got met after he kicked the Should ball it? so it would be that's downfield and, that's why, and I, was that the was that I hope it wasn't the Blackburn skipper there because they've got a bit of a run on to give away a downfield like that I know they got the mark anyway Sexton you don't want to be giving them away at any time no no, you're exactly right. Jordan, there, Jordan Lyle's starting to get into the game too, Brush. He's had a couple of contests in the centre uh, circles from the from the kick in, but also he's taken what kick that that pie floating goal, taken a couple of marks. That's an even bigger danger side for, for for Blackburn because he's probably been the one quiet player for Baldwin in the first half. Well, Lyle went up in the ruck contest that time, ground level, Blackburn, who've done well the last five minutes or so, but they just don't want to cough up anything here, but. Mark's been taken Runner. down there by Anderson. Here they go, they're linking up Gabs in the middle. Man. Here he goes, right on the right boot, <laughs> in, on the left boot inside forward 50. Here's Lyle. Couldn't quite, quite get the handball away. Eventually does. Urban handballs it off to Pollux around the body. And through for one behind because I'm caught. Benny <laughs> <laughs> going back scoreboard. Ben, 16 and again, it's gone. Again, Brash, we're talking about how hard Blackburn have to work. That was a that was a training run the way yeah. they brought it into the corridor. <laughs> Runners that was that was reminiscent of training, Gav. That's where I did my best work. No <laughs> pressure. Run from behind. Uh, they couldn't quite get the, the, the goal because Ben was calling as he as he correctly stated. But yeah, that's that's pretty, a, pretty nice, wasn't it? They had a three on one to to boot. Yeah. Long kick out from Blackburn, but they spot up an opposition player, Zagari. Eight it, intercept marks this quarter. It was like he pinpointed him from 45 and said, here, have a running jump at it. And now the kick goes inside 50, and another mark inside 50. It's Pollux this time for Baldwin, and for such a slender bloke, once he's got the arms up, he is strong. Yeah, it's good. It's good play, and uh, obviously kicking a point a moment ago when I was calling, yeah, you're calling, <laughs> you put it straight through the middle. And he kicked, he kicked 29 <laughs> goals in the under-19s for Baldwin last year, so... Obviously has an eye for goal. Already got one today as well. Tell you what, he's got a deadly left foot, this Sagari. Got a nice dazzle on him too. There's a few of them got that. I mean, I think he's replaced Trelaw, I reckon. So Pollock's from directly in front, 30 metres out. He'll just trot his way to goal, and the goal umpire just does a pirouette and signals a goal. It's <laughs> another one for Baldwin. 10-11, 71, Blackburn, 2-9, 21. Two goals to Pollock's. He's been good. They've all been good, Brash. The ball players. When, when they get when they get any sort of space or time, obviously by taking mark, you get time. They they rarely miss, and, and Blackburn haven't been afforded that. I think that nearly every, I think nearly every uh, forward in, forward six in ball and has kicked a goal, except I think Jeff Gobbles. Gobbles, yeah, and of course as, as <laughs> Gobbles, a, he, he wants to gobble them up. He's looking for four fifty. Well, that's what it says there. <laughs> 
<laughs> stole that one out, Brad. Nathan, Nathan Oakes is a big pickup too. Obviously, we've only played a handful of games for Noble Park, as Rodney Ead said on the pre-game. Spent a lot more time in the ball at the ball and social functions than the uh, Noble Park ones. But he's polished before on the half-back flank. He stepped through traffic, got a handball away and cleared the lines for Sexton. He's going to be handy if he plays a lot of footy for ball in this year. Well, the kick goes forward for Blackburn. Nobody is home. And short passes on. Schreiber, he's hit a target. Well, we'll use this side of the ground, which is uh, refreshing, some might say, as it comes at ground level. Picked up there by Hanley. A little handball backwards. Bajaya, handball out wide, looking for Hart. He got a linking handball as well. It just was a handball in hope over the top there, looking for a rough edge. And he goes over the boundary line and out of bounds, and nearly knocking the hurricane over. No space, no time. Know anything here for Blackburn this afternoon? They just can't get any clearance or free ball. Player throws it in. Leroy, Leroy Green liked that one. As it comes in now, Hart on the right boot, kicked it up towards a half forward line. Just couldn't quite pull the mark down. Good strong tackle there by Hanley to get the ball to spill. Snap around the body, inside forward 50 it goes. At the back of the at the back there was Brooks, but he had the pace. Look at the dash by the big man to go after it. Brought to ground in a strong Casey tackle and him rewarded as so holding the ball. So they've now got, so the Ford Trinity or the Ford trio of Goebbels, Haley and um, Lyle is pretty impressive. And now you've got the back trio of Panelbury, Freeman and Matt Casey. So you, you add in that midfield that's always been pretty good ball and they seem to have the full set at the moment, Brush. They've linked up sensationally as Haley goes Goldwood. It might go all the way to the line. Which way will it bounce? And it does a wrong and last time it wrong and in, this time it wrong and out. I'm, and I'm gonna, I'll, I won't pull you up uh, on the uh, definition uh, of wrong and, but that's not how wrong and's work. Yeah, well, who cares, Matt? <laughs> Just, 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 yeah, we're not worry about, just, we're not worry about, about just worry about your special <laughs> comments, mate. That was a special comment. <laughs> All so right. you say. You're, you're ruining it. <laughs> As it comes in now, and a cross was there. He was almost going to put a nail in it. And we'll have... A, a rush behind. Correct. <laughs> Twenty and a half minutes gone. Well, that's the problem. Everything's rushed for Blackburn. It, yeah. yeah, pretty much. And the Except these kickouts, let's see how they go. <laughs> yeah, they're taking this tweet time as uh, rushing himself now is Patterson. He kicks it out wide. Is it too wide? That no, it's just hit the opponent on the chest again. Ten, that, ten that, intercept marks this quarter for Baldwin. That's, that, 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 they had six to half time. And that was a shank as well. Cross goes in, but he's looked at the opposition and it's a nice mark taken there. Uh, help us out there. Is done. That done. Mickey done. Mickey done. Socks up. So Mick done. Uh, kicks a long way outside 50, but again, it's not targeting his players to advantage, and it'll be, this time, luckily enough, it'll be a ball up 60 metres from goal. That's the best-case scenario from that kick, and, and again, Mickey Dunn's probably not the, the most elite ball user, so I understand why he's gone long down the line, but their best-case scenario was a ball up there, whereas Chevy Anderson could have easily gobbled that up, looked in the corridor for another ball and goal. It's just, at the moment... It, it's got a, a funny story about Michael Dunn. Uh, when he was two years old, um, it was uh, mates with his brother, right, and we were over at their place, and you know those big giant balls that you can get. There's a video the of me ball. throwing one right at his back and head and him just get face planted like right into the ground. Not one of my greatest moments. Yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm using the opportunity to say sorry to Mick right now. It's GBH. <laughs> Jeepers, you've had 20 years to say. Longer than that, Sorry. Rush. Little left foot kick this time by Zagari and it was all too easy. As... And that's the thing with ball and, and, it's, and this, I think this is going to be a theme this year. You make a mistake it doesn't matter where it is on the field. We're going to hurt you on the turnover this year. And their foot skills are so good. Yeah. That's the thing. So Josh Pollux has kicked two goals today. He's got a very unballing haircut. <laughs> really? No, I think that's that's becoming more and more balling. <laughs> is it? Well, mm. I live around there. I don't see too many dazzers. As it comes in now on the right boot, of course, he barely got a point that time. <laughs> it's working its way out of bounds for me. I think you'll get a mention in the uh, three-quarter time huddle. <laughs> They'll ban me from, uh, well, yeah, I don't know. Well, Blackburn would want me calling. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> It'd take a lot to get you banned, BWS. 73 to 21. I love you, Brush. <laughs> You're my favourite, you know that. 
<laughs> I wasn't last set day. <laughs> Long kick out. This time the mark from the out. The kick out is great because it's Dove taking it centre back. He looks ahead of himself. He'll just go long and direct. One on one contest soon becomes many against one for Blackburn. Oh. Harry, he's the, not the rover. He's well a done, ruckman though. in the middle though. Got tackled as he tried to kick it. Hand pass was hopeful. Chopped off by Hinkley. Hinkley's ball smothered, but Blackburn still might get it inside 50 if Faffy only got it on the boot. He didn't. It spilled to the ground and Baldwin will take it away from the middle of Morton Park. Kick it out in front of Sexton. He's got a couple to beat and the couple do beat him Go this on. time. Why the chase down it nearly? As, that is uh, stupid football. But why was he so lackadaisical as well? Yeah. He, he, did, he, he thought he was roaming down the wing 100 points up. Turnover, cross it off, forward to Lyle, one hand again. He's juggling the ball with the other. It brings it to ground. This time it's not the Tigers at ground level taking the ball. Blackburn, though, are using four just to make a metre. And this time they kick it long, 50 metres out. Lawler on the bounce, has to run and pick it up. He only skates now, goes through the middle of the ground. The big punch comes in from nice. Baldwin. Ground level, it's a heated contest now. Now, this is great to watch. Blackburn can't get the kick away as it tackled. So again on the wing, what will... Oh, that's a push in the back, and that is a jury end to what was a heated contest, and Zagari will pick himself up with a free kick. Great call, Gav. Well, that, 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 that was exciting, but it was, again, just a, a showcase of the day. It was it was just Blackburn trying to get away from Bourne players, and eventually they, they turned uh, in one too many corners and got stuck in the labyrinth. Zagari, what a kick he is. He puts it to a hot spot. The markers can't get there in time, so Blackburn's punched down to ground level, and they will get it out. Nicely picked up by Reed. He's kick out wide. Brooks on the bounce has to be good. He's got some help from Bajaya, but Bajaya can't get near it as Baldwin hold up close to the line. Tell you what, he's, he's got another string to his bow, hit the Zagari. Not only can he kick left very well, but he's also pretty deadly there on with that right foot too. Could be very well, handy. You, well, you would suggest that's his preferred, given it was a free kick, so that left foot kick becomes even more impressive with yeah. Pollocks. I reckon Blackburn need to have a red back with a white number. I'd love it. I'd love if they change their jumpers. It's, it, it is difficult to read, isn't it? Yeah. 25 gone in the third term. 73 plays 21. Very old school looking like as well with the white patches on the backs of the jumper in VFL mm. styles. As it comes out towards Urban, got the handball away. Can they sneak another one before three-quarter time? The Tigers, as they drive the ball forward at the back. Oh, Haley was there and Sexton was running on, but over the boundary line she goes for a boundary throw-in. Any uh, scores from around the grounds, Matthew? Ju just checking that now. So our last update, of course, is Waverley Blues by 17 points. And, of course, my internet is now slow. Come so, so come back to me. No problem. Lyle, quick handball over the out of the pack, but the burners is quick clearing oh. kick is going to go nowhere and straight down the throat of Caden Schreiber. He'd have the journey, wouldn't he? He does, and he did. You know what? He deserves to go back and have a ping here. Although he's setting up as if he's just going to pop it up into the into the hot spot. He's gone towards the pocket. Big flyers over the back and through for what do you know? <laughs> One behind. 26 minutes gone in this third term. Let's go around the grounds to Mount Waverley. Yeah, out to Mount Waverley. 9963 Waverley Blues. Furniture Gully 6137. So accurate Furniture Gully, but unfortunately doesn't look like they're creating enough. And Waverley Blues looks set to go 2 and 1. Well, one good thing that Blackburn are good at is bringing chips to the table. So thank you very much. As we. We all get a chip. <laughs> yeah. Blackburn, no, that was a good pass outside 50. Now Brooks can't get in front because, again, the wall is there. Will Sexton this time is the marking one. They just set up so nicely oh. off half-back. He's hooked the kick. I think it's still in when it's marked. Perfect. And it's beautifully marked by his brother in Jack. Jack goes long. Lyle's turned around. And then he turns around again and nearly marks it. He, he, he had time to fight his opponent, then turn around. Just in all that, he spilled it to ground, and it's going to be a ball in. The, the defender on um, Lyle has done pretty well all day, to be fair, because the ball's been in there a lot. You would think a man like him would probably have snagged three or four. Uh, you're talking about the wall that's being set up. Gap 12 intercept marks he's called it for ball. And it's not even the big blokes. It's the guys that just know where the ball's going to get to. Sexton, smart players. Mm. It's experience, Gav. Here's Sexton. Jack trying to get on the ball in the goal square as it went from the boundary okay. throw in. And the umpires in, come in and said there's a free kick for a push out. And it's going to go to ball one straight in front as now the new 81. That is Oaks will get himself a shot from point blank range. Yeah, just, just fell all over him there, unfortunately. His chips are bloody good. And there is the siren. It's three-quarter time. We have a 53-point advantage to the ball, and it's only going to be greater soon. 
Oaks from straight in front. It goes Ooh. slightly off the left, but it was so close he couldn't miss, and he didn't. So it's another <laughs> goal. Baldwin 11-14, 81 on Good Friday. It's very good for the Tigers. They lead by 59. Blackburn at 2 9 21. Today at Eastland, Lucy's trying on jeans for a momentous occasion. Coffee with the ex. She needs jeans she can move in because she's definitely moved on. Jeans that get a second look, but don't give any second chances. Jeans that say, well, yes, I have spent the last eight months in a post-breakup juice cleansing kickboxing personal training frenzy. And it looks as though she's just found the perfect pair. Bravo, Lucy. For all of life's little moments, there's Eastland. Eastland. Live real. Sprained your ankle, bursting through the banner, broke a finger, high-fiving the ruckman, or did you run into the goal post again? For bumps, breaks or bleeds, be seen sooner, close to home at Knox Private 24-7 Emergency Department. The preferred provider of emergency care to the Eastern Football Netball League, you'll generally experience shorter wait times. You don't need private health, but there is an out-of-pocket fee. Be seen sooner, close to home at Knox Private 24-7 Emergency Department, 262 Mountain Highway, One Turner. Do you feel good about your bank? Because there is a bank you can feel good about. They share their profits to fund big community projects, small community clubs and vital emergency services. They've given $250 million to help Australian communities thrive. They have all the products and tech you expect from a big bank, with service you don't. It's Bendigo Bank. Feel good about who you bank with. Try Bendigo. Search bendigobank.com today you or search Bendigo Bank near me. Running and jumping can be really painful for girls, especially in contact sport. Boob Armour supports your breasts, minimises the bounce and guards against impact and injury. Feel confident, feel supported. Available at boobarmour.com.au There are only three things that should be flushed down your toilet. Pee, poo and paper. Some wet wipes and antibacterial wipes say that you can flush them, but you can't. They clog up the toilet and pipes, causing expensive blockages. Save yourself a truckload of trouble. Put your wet wipes in the bin. To learn more, head to the Yarra Valley Water website. yvw.com.au forward slash wet dash wipes. Sprained your ankle, bursting through the banner. For bumps, breaks or bleeds, be seen sooner, close to home, at Knox Private 24-7 Emergency Department. You'll generally experience shorter wait times. Knox Private 24-7 Emergency, 262 Mountain Highway, One Turner. As Sarah opened her best friend Jackie's wedding invitation, she was overcome with a wave of emotion. While her two young boys wrestled on the floor, tears of happiness rolled down Sarah.